Hey everybody, welcome back to Private Thoughts. I'm Brett and we are Broussard Homestead. Uh, I've gotten some messages lately that uh, you guys are missing uh, the Private Thoughts because I haven't done them in a while. And a lot of that has to do with the weather. It's been rainy and cold and uh, I just haven't been motivated to do anything as far as videos and for that i apologize you know ultimately uh, that is my responsibility and i'm sorry anyway today is beautiful the weather is much better than what it has been um i'd like to say this is the day the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it i'd love to say that every day but i don't i'm not that good at it yet you know, like like as like many of you, um, we are growing and maturing Christians, and uh, we don't do what we're supposed to sometimes. And I mean, it is what it is. We're we want to just do better every day. So today, I want to talk about protecting um, the things that the Lord has given us given us uh, stewardship over um, especially our our animals our flock because as the Lord protects his flock we want to do the same for ours and what better example than the Lord himself so <clears throat> I saw uh, one of my friends on Facebook this morning talked about um, a dog had attacked his sheep and it's a difficult topic when um, a neighbor or uh, you know somebody can be irresponsible with their animals and it can put yours in danger it's a tough topic but it's one that needs to be addressed and I don't know about your state but here in Louisiana, we do have um, containment laws for dogs. And we have the right to protect our flock. Our animals are, uh, we have the right to, re to protect anything that belongs to us. In that, we can kill an animal. Now, we definitely don't ever want to do that. Because ultimately, that animal, due to the irresponsibility of the owner, has been given the opportunity to tear up your property, whatever it may be. Because So it's really not the animal's fault. It, the animal's just being an animal, um, whether it's a dog or whatever. Now, we also have... Um, you can see behind me we have some overgrowth in the uh, field next to us and i've said so before our neighbor johnny who owns the property past beyond this tree line here has given us free reign to clear out whatever we want to do however whatever we really want to do it's he's got 60 acres and he's really not doing anything with it so being a good neighbor he's allowed us to do whatever we want to do i mean so I don't know if you can see that, but right in here, we've done a lot of clearing out lately because our goats are just right off camera right there. And uh, Amy actually shot a bobcat right in that area that we're clearing. So we're trying to just bring back that uh, overgrowth a, a little further away from the goats because we don't want to shoot any animal, even a wild predator. If it's not bothering us, there's no reason to mess with it. Same with snakes. Um, you know, I grew up with the mindset that uh, every snake that you see needs to be killed. Well, I've learned differently because there are good snakes and then there are bad snakes. Even if, even if the venomous snakes are not near our house or threatening us or our property then we try to leave them alone too 
Now we get the water snakes and the cat, uh, the rat snakes and king snakes and garter snakes and things like that up around the house. And what I try to do now is just to relocate those and get those away from the house or the animal, you know, our, our livestock and stuff. But <clears throat> again, I, I grew up in the mindset that if there's any animal on my property that doesn't belong there, it needs to go, it needs to be dispatched. And, and I don't believe that anymore. And I'm not saying that you should or shouldn't believe that as well. Um, I just, that's my mindset now. So that's where we're at with that. Now we live uh, right next to um, some neighbors who, who have some other livestock. So in essence, we're, we're protecting their livestock as well. And, and I would expect the same in return. So, you know, that's just being neighborly. I hope that I'm never put in the position to make the difficult decision to have to take out somebody else's dog because I do not wish any pet any ill will or harm that's just you know that's where I'm at because you know this this pet is probably part of someone some child life and and we don't want I wouldn't want to hurt a child in any way so I will protect my my flock my livestock my possessions that that I've given I've been given stewardship over those are difficult decisions Again, I hope I never have to, I'm not put in that situation. Um, when you take, when you buy or, or, or when you acquire livestock, you're taking on a responsibility. You have, you have to care for that animal all the way up to the point of, you know, feeding the animal, providing for its needs, shelter, all those sorts of things, all the way up to protection from harm it can be tough it wasn't a it, it wasn't fun for amy to shoot a bobcat but it's something that needed to be done so anyway hopefully this all makes sense <laughs> just kind of rambling on a beautiful morning and we miss you guys. We appreciate you. We hope you enjoyed the the video and the talk. Uh, keep in mind these private thoughts. Sometimes we, we're going to tackle unpopular opinions and difficult subjects. And it's it's necessary. As homesteaders, we have uncomfortable situations that we can get into sometimes and also remember i'm i'm doing this private thought series as thought provoking thought provoking thought provocation yeah something like that whatever <laughs> and and i'm i'm also doing it in such a way that hopefully you know if you're driving to work or whatever you can just listen and not have to really look if you're driving, please don't look at this screen. Um, so anyway, it, it, it's it's more like a podcast, I guess. Just just kind of a discussion, kind of talking to you, and uh, and we want to know your feedback as well. You know, how do you feel about these topics? Because healthy discussion is good. I mean, if if I'm way off base on something that that I that I'm thinking, my thought process, then uh, by all means, right wrangle me in uh so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go for now and we appreciate you and uh we look forward to talking to you in the comments down below